Hey guys, Jeff from Wisconsin RC Construction. Uh, we are on the new camera system. We are up and going. Uh, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but I think you guys are definitely liking this a lot better. The quality from these webcams are a little bit nicer. The audio should be a lot better, and it's a lot less shaky of an image. So, let's get started. Let me flip this over real quick. All right, so here I have Project Heavy Haul. I know you guys have seen this before. Um, she is up and going. It's working. I need to finish the body on here. Uh, I need to finish the getting the doors on, finish the paint. Uh, I do have some white paint. It was cold. It was super hot and humid. Uh, humidity dropped down right now, so I'm hoping I can get this uh, out this weekend and actually get a, a nice coat of paint on it and get it torn down and working. Um, I've been running it, doing a little bit of shakedown run. Uh, I've been finding little bits and issues with the wheels and the wheels and the, basically the rims itself I've had some loose screws on it so we've been tightening those up I had a motor that lost uh, the soldering joint so it lost its power leads that way um, so we've been getting it uh, pretty much dialed in and ready to go the cab the interior is all done that's what I did uh, a couple weeks ago actually about a month ago now um, my table sorry about this my table is a hot mess um, it's pretty damaged. The Proline mat that I use is very destroyed. So I do have the new Traxxas rubber pit mat. Uh, I will be cleaning that off and doing that this weekend. So heavy haul is going. The Tamiya fifth wheel is on. The servo that runs the fifth wheel has been great. Everything is going good with this. Now it's just getting paint on the cab, put it back together. I hear filling the front tires with BBs is a thing for you guys. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys uh, think about that stuff. To get some more weight up in the front, um, the, the biggest thing I did notice is if you are pulling a big trailer, and when I mean big trailer, I have a big trailer off to the side here. I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a massive trailer. Um, it starts to pull, front end starts to pull up a little bit. The drives are great. Everything else seems really, really good. Uh, the power is there. Uh, we've, we've pulled some bags on it from the truck to the, my apartment with just ran, random crawlers on it, a bag of RC car parts and other stuff, and it pulled it just fine. So let me get heavy haul out of the way real quick. I'm going to put this on the floor behind me and I will bring in the trailer. So, oh buddy, this trailer, I don't know if I can get it all in the whole screen. It is that big. Um, this is a 36 inch table roughly or a 48 inch table. It's damn near the whole table. Um, not gonna lie, this thing is big. Um, it does fit on the deck itself, the Bruder articulated dump truck, the, the Volvo A60H. It fits it uh, just fine with actually a little bit of room uh, to go up and back with it. Now, this, these beds, they do move out they for going a little bit wider the stock width on these is i believe it was seven about seven seven and a half i think that it says on the website and it goes to nine and a half inches wide so this will handle a nice and wide load um there is some 3d printed parts on here but the rest of it for all in all is pretty much all aluminum uh, there is some little bit of fine-tuning work you need to do and uh, basically countersinking some screws, drilling out a little bit of hole um, here and there just to make your life easier. Yeah, like I have these a little screwed down, a little tight, so they're a little stiff. Um, but it's not bad. It's I didn't want them sliding back and forth while I'm driving this trailer. Um, this one is actually not mine. This one will be going to a, a buddy of mine, Eric Costello. He needed it for, um, he bought a drag line. 
and his bulldozer. So he needed some equi some a big trailer to haul some equipment of his. So I found this trailer. Um, this trailer is from that's from Spiker Workshop. Um, he should be on this page by now. I did send him an invite. Hopefully he accepts this. But I did link um, the other day to his page and a link to the actual trailer. Uh, like I said, this is very well put together. We do need to get some Tamiya uh, wheels and tires for this. But as you can see, there's very little printed parts on this. You have your axles that are printed, but they're on a metal aluminum chassis housing or a, a, a holder for it. Let me see if I can tip this down. Here we go. So you have your 3D printed axles, but he gives you all the stuff to do it. So there's there's actually metal bearings in here. All the parts to put this together are included in this kit that he gives you. Um, these are just some Bruder wheels that I had uh, laying around, printed up to go. The tail lights actually, let me see if I can tip this up a little bit. You can see the tail lights. There we go. There's actually spots on the backside to put five mil LEDs in there. So they they are a little translucent, um, or at least they're they're pretty thin on the light, so I'd be a little careful with it, but it looks like they will light up just fine. Um, all of this comes with this, this whole screw hardware set. Let me tip this back up for you guys here. Uh, the neck is a detachable neck as well. Uh, it's a little stiff right now to get in with all the aluminum parts. Let's see if I can, let me change this view real quick. All right, so the neck is detachable. Here we go. There is a lever down here. You can actually, you rotate it forward and it pulls out. So as you can see in here, there's a little spring mechanism. I bet you we could get that on a servo, even though it probably detaches the wrong way from what we want it to do. Um, this is a very entry level trailer, and but it works. It's detachable at least. There is a spot up in the top, so you have big storage up in here. So if you wanted to put a battery pack in here uh, for the light kit, if you wanted to put a receiver in to control the lights or you name it. Um, if you figured out how to change this a little bit and make the servo, you know, that's, there's plenty of room up here. Or even just your chain binders and your chains. Uh, and she'll go good. So, like I said, she's a little stiff, but that's to be expected. You gotta kinda work it in, and there we go. Now she's locked into place, not gonna go nowhere. So like I said, this is a big, big, big trailer. You can see the rear does come with the mud flaps. Here's your section for your LEDs. Like I said, they are a little translucent. I wish I had a flashlight. Oh, I do have a little flashlight actually. Let me see if I, you guys can see this. If I push, eh, you guys aren't seeing that, that's okay. Let me get this thing to work. Um, like I said, this this is a large, large trailer. Yep, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Pop a little five mil LEDs in there. You have your whites, you have your reds, you have your ambers on the outside. So they do light up very nice. They look very well once they're lit up. Um, I will be purchasing one myself. It goes together fairly quick. I had this together in a couple hours and no lie. Um, drill, drill bits, countersink, that'll be your, your big ticket. Uh, Pre-drilling a little bit of the 3D printed stuff so you can screw it in a little easier. That'll help you out too. Having your Tamiya um, wheels and tires ready and all set up. Let me tip this back up. There we go. Having your Tamiya wheels and tires set up 
uh, that's going to be a big thing too because then once you get it all done you can get it all done uh, wiring up the lights quick and simple there's a lot of room underneath this you can tape down some wires hot glue them down um, just be careful you don't want to hot glue them to your deck so you'd want to get them glued or even drilled through the center section of the 3d printed printed plastic or even down and zip tie them to the metal bracing that's attached because this section on your outsides will always be covered so you won't see any of your um, your wiring. Uh, they do come with a little cool trailer adapter so you can put this on the back side of your trailer for those rare occasions when you need to haul another one. Um, we had the Bruder trailer hooked up just off of this one. Yes, this does rock and rotate as well. Um, we had the Bruder trailer hooked up to this as well. It was awesome. Um, it is turns it into a very, very big and wide, not wide, but very big and long load. Uh, that's where I noticed the front tires of heavy haul pulling off the ground. Hence why I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put more weight into the unit. And I have some ideas of where and how I want to do that. Uh, one of them being BBs in the front tires. So that's, that's something that I'm looking at doing. Um, Weekender got its dualies. Those came in from Amazon. I waited about a month and a half on shipping on those things. Um, they're the WPL D12, but they're off-road tires on it, and it's an aluminum rim. So that made Weekender look pretty sweet there. Um, I did order a set of tracks as well for the WPLs. It's not a WPL part. Um, it's another, another vendor. I, I can't even remember what it is. But I do have a, a full set of four tracks for that. I don't know if that's going to go on the boss's truck. Um, Weekender would be pretty cool with the back of it. I haven't done a whole lot with Weekender. It's, I do need to get it out and get some good photos of it. Um, I've been working on trailers lately. So I did the conversion for the one of the Bruder semi-trailers, made it a tag trailer. I added, yeah, I did add lights to it um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I can grab that real quick. That's just up here. And that's gonna be right here. Just to give you a comparison on the size of this thing. All right, this is your Bruder deck trailer right here. It would have that semi truck right here to, to hook up on your fifth wheel. This whole trailer can fit on the Spiker trailer. Um, I actually do have one of the yellow factory Bruder trailers sitting around. This is what we were pulling yesterday. There we go. How's that for size? Let's, uh, let me change this real quick. I'll aim this down a little bit. Look at that. So the trailer is all the way butted up to the gooseneck of this. I have all this room. The tag trailer adapter, that's how much shorter this gets. So there's a, this trailer is a massive, massive trailer. Um, this one will be getting its treatment. The yellow one will be getting a treatment of lights and LEDs. Right now it just has the Tamiya Kingpin on it, and that's about it. I haven't even filled the weights or put weights in these tires yet. Like I do a lot of my other trailers uh, from Bruder, I do fill them up with some hot glue just for a little bit more added weight. So this is the tag trailer. This is the adapter that you get from uh, Pedro. Um, he is on the channel as well. He has his own channel. He has done some amazing stuff. Um, 
So yeah, it gives you spots to put your chains on it. Gives you the front lid. Uh, piano wire is great to make that go through. And I just tied it down. I had the wheel chocks. These wheel chocks are from Magum. And then I have all my wiring done underneath this. I have lights all down the side of this thing. So I have one, two, I have three LEDs just on each side. And then I have another three LEDs on the backs of this. So this thing's going to be lit up. Uh, I can't wait to get it going. This actually does look pretty good behind the Dodge Ram, surprisingly. It's a little big, but it does work. Uh, I will be probably pulling this behind the Bruder Mac, um, my Western Star as well. Western Star needs to go through a whole new conversion. I have two Western Stars. Well, I don't have two Western Stars. I only have one. I need to do two Western Stars and the, the Huna dump truck. Um, so I have three trucks that I need to convert all to hobby grade um, ESCs and servos. You get better turning radius. You get that proportional uh, throttle that is amazing, actually, because it gets a little jerky. Um, also, he also has on his stuff ramps. There we go. Let that come in focus a little bit. Ramps, uh, two separate parts. So you have the basic ramp itself, and then he has an attachment to go on top of that to give it let's see if the other camera there we go to give it more of a grip uh, grip style so I added some WPL turnbuckle or turnbuckle arms to hold it up and it's it's pretty solid I, I do like it um, like I said I fill my tires a lot of my brooder tires with hot glue this is one of them. It, it helps that bounciness and the hollowness sound. Uh, real quick and simple, I got about a stick and a half into six tires. So you do use up a lot of hot glue. Uh, it just adds a little bit of weight. You turn it on its side and you just just pour it in uh, with, the, with your glue gun. So that's pretty much what's been going on. Um, I did mention I have the articulated dump truck that's going to get done. Um, that's been on the want list for a while. That one's going to take some thought. I need to find uh, how everybody's doing the drive systems for it. Um, it looks like everybody's using the actuators to dump it. Uh, a large fifth scale servo I hear to turn it in the front, but to make it a 6x6, who's got some parts for that? Anybody have a 3D printed file? Uh, purchase free whatever that bolts in uses gear reduction motors let me know um, that's something I'm interested in so hit me up on that one uh, as again sorry my table's a real hot mess it's getting it gone through this weekend heavy hauls getting painted I can't wait for that I can finally start getting it put back together and get some of this stuff off my table that's going to be the good part so uh, until I do a next video, you guys, if you have any questions, comment below. Um, this will be posted up on Facebook at WIRC -I -I Construction. So until next time, guys, take care.